Hi everyone, this is Sarah from MyJoyFilledLife.com and I'm here to share about our favorite homeschool science curriculum for the elementary grades. Apologia has a series called the Young Explorer series that is geared towards kids in grades K through 6. And I just wanted to give you a little peek inside the textbook and the notebooking journals because I know it can be a little um, difficult to make curriculum decisions when you're new to homeschooling or you're new to a curriculum and you're not quite sure what to expect. So I thought it'd be helpful to give you a look inside. So the Young Explorer series currently has seven courses and they are astronomy, they have botany, zoology one, which is flying creatures, Zoology 2, which is swimming creatures. Zoology 3, which is land animals. Human anatomy and physiology. And chemistry and physics. Now each of these courses will take a year to complete. If you have a science, that's if you're doing science about twice a week. If you have a child who is very interested in science or prefer to do more than just one topic a year, you could feasibly do probably two courses in a year, one per semester, and work probably four to five days a week. So Apologia takes the immersion approach, which, so you're studying one course throughout the entire, one subject the entire year. So I want to look at one of the textbooks just so you can kind of get a feel for what a lesson looks like. Here is the Human Anatomy and Physiology textbook. Make sure we can see it here. So you're going to start out with the table of contents. Each of the um, courses is about 14 lessons. I think one of them does have 13 lessons. So it's 14 lessons with a lesson taking two weeks if you do the two day a week schedule, which they do have a schedule for you in the notebooking journal, which I'll show you in just a little bit. So, so here is the beginning of the anatomy and physiology. It just goes over what is, is gonna be covered in the course, just um, the notebooking activities, projects and experiments, what you can expect. It also has a nice um, list of all the supplies that you will need for the experiments and the projects and activities that are broken down by each lesson so you can prepare in advance. Okay, so here is the first lesson. Throughout each lesson, there is going to be bolded vocabulary words. There's also try this sections, which are little activities. Some of them are more involved than others. Some are just sim very simple. Some take no supplies whatsoever. Some take some supplies. Some are kind of like a notebooking activity, which I think this one is. Also, you'll encounter throughout each lesson um, narration prompts. So this says you will remember what you have list. You will remember what you have learned a little better if you explain it to someone else. So th throughout the course, you will do this often. Take time now to explain all that you've learned so far. And some of them will be more specific as to what they want you to narrate to somebody else. So again, more try this activities. Narration. Wow, that was a lot of information about cell anatomy. You are becoming quite an expert. Tell someone all that you remember from the last part you read. Each At the end of each lesson, you'll have a what do you remember section that has, quest has um, review questions 
these are also included in the notebooking journal. There's a section in the notebooking journal where you can write these. Now the notebooking journal isn't necessary, but it does make things a little easier when you're doing the activities and notebooking activities. So again, notebooking activity, this you'll find in the notebook, although you don't need the notebook to do this. The personal person project in this one is a course long project that you're going to be putting together a human body. So as you study the different systems, you'll add the different systems to that body. And each of the courses, or at least most of them, have a course long project that you do throughout the course. Like the, um, the zoology two, you make like a, a diorama ocean box. So as you're learning each animal, you make an animal out of clay and you put it in it after each lesson. Um, zoology three, you map the animals on a map. You buy a, a, a map and then you, as you learn about them, you find where they're located or where their habitats, where they're typically found on the map. So you do that throughout the course. So it's kind of neat that you have um, a project that you're doing throughout the entire course. Then also at the end, you'll find projects or experiments. This one is an edible cell project. That's always a fun one. So that is a typical lesson. Let's just kind of look further into it and kind of flip through one more. So again, so here's the respiratory system. The vocabulary in bold, which also you'll have in a notebooking journal there's a, a crossword puzzle in the notebooking journals that um, helps review all of the vocabulary throughout the lesson. Try this ex um, activities. The try this activities um, help just reinforce what you're discussing or learning or reading about during that part of the lesson and they're not quite as involved as any project or experiment that you'll find in the end. Some lessons are gonna have a lot of try this activities. Some of them might only have one or two, or maybe even none. And just pick and choose what you wanna do. If you don't have a supply, skip it. Don't stress out about getting to each and every one of them because, well, you'll just stress yourself out. <laughs> um, Again, narration throughout the lesson. This one here will, has two experiments at the end. Again, the, what do you remember is gonna be at the end of each one. You're doing the personal person project. Again, this is just the anatomy one. Each one is a little bit different, like I said, for the projects and experiments that you're gonna do, but the basic layout is pretty much the same. Um, here, you'll make a diagram, a diaphragm model, and here you'll do a lung capacity experiment. So that's kind of the gist of the textbook. Now, I mentioned that there are notebooking journals. No, there are notebooking journals that go with each of the courses. They offer a junior notebooking journal for the younger kids. I'd say probably K through two, K through second to third grade, depending on each student. And this for the upper elementary. Um, there's not too much difference. I'm gonna. I want to kind of flip through these side by side, I guess. So let's want to kind of so you can see the difference between the two. Let me sorry, I'm trying to adjust this. I am not a camera person. Okay. So the junior one's going to be on the top. And the regular one is on the bottom. So here's like lesson 7. This is the chemistry and physics. Just trying to get them better lined up here. Okay, so this is the beginning of lesson seven. 
for both of on both of, okay so here's lesson seven lesson seven in the junior notebooking and lesson seven in the regular the main difference here on these notebooking pages is the junior has the dotted line thicker dotted lines for writing and also not as much space for writing because they're probably not going to, younger kids aren't going to want to write as much or be able to write as much, and that's okay. And another thing, too, if your child isn't into writing, doesn't like the writing, you can just write down for them what they narrate to you. My kids were never big writers, so that's what I would do instead of making, <laughs> making an argument out of it. So, again, here's... More notebooking pages right here, just the lines are different. Here is the crossword that I mentioned. You'll see that the crossword puzzle in the junior one is a little bit, um, doesn't have quite as many words as the regular one. Each lesson in the notebooking journal has scripture copy work that is in manuscript and cursive and I believe it's manuscript and cursive in both yep so even the junior one has cursive but the only difference is the lines um, provided to write the scripture on each lesson in the notebooking journal has a mini book that goes with it it's kind of like a lap booking component and those are the same for both the junior and the regular notebooking journal. And all of those are going to be in the back. So all the things you need are already there for you. Just rip the page out, cut it out per the directions, and then you'll glue or paste or tape the finished mini book on the page provided in that lesson. Um, each book also has kind of a page where you can expand on your learning. If you, you have a child who's really interested in that particular topic, you can it gives additional activities you can do, additional books that you can read, and this is the same for both. Here you're going to write down about your projects that you did or experiments, and the only difference here again is the lines provided to write on. So, like I said, there's not too much difference. Now here, the junior one does not have the what do you remember section. In its place, it's going to have coloring pages instead. So, the regular notebook has the questions that are provided in the textbook a place for you to write the what do you remember at the end of each lesson. Again, you don't need, you can always just use your own notebook and write the answers if you want the younger kid to do them, but you're, and you're using the notebook or the junior journal, you can always just do a narration thing where you read the questions from the textbook and have them answer. It's very flexible you, um, and you can adapt it to how it would work for your family. So. That's, those are the main differences between the junior and the regular notebooking journals is the lines for writing, crossword puzzles are a little less involved, um, the junior one has coloring pages. I think that's one of the biggest questions I get from people about Apologia is which notebooking journal should I use? Um, I think they're both great, just depends on your student and what you think they would do best with. So like I said, those are the differences between those. Oh, and another thing I wanted to show you in the notebooking journal is the, the nice daily schedule that, that it has. Sorry about that, I'm trying to backwards here. It has a schedule, a two day a week schedule for science with all of the activities broken down that are included in the textbook and in the notebooking journal. So that has 
So if you're doing two days a week, one course will take you about 28 weeks roughly to complete. So this is something that I liked because I am a check, check the box kind of person and I like to see what we've done and have it all laid out for me. <laughs> so that's a nice feature too. So that is a peek inside the Apologia Young Explorer series. You can read even more details about the curriculum in the link that I'm going to leave below. And you'll also you can also read a little bit about more about my thoughts on the, on the um, curriculum and how we've used it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask below or comment on the post, like I said, that will be linked below. Thanks for listening. Hope this helped.